Hello dear students. Welcome to 9th standard model question paper SA2 part 2. So the answers will be given here. Yesterday I gave you multiple choice question answers and also one mark questions. Now I am giving you two mark, three mark, four marks and even map section. So be ready. So view this once or twice to learn the answers better. Welcome to model question paper SA2 of 9th standard social science answers. Two mark questions. You will have eight questions. Each question carries two marks, totally 16. List out the teachings of Jesus Christ. So he said, God is one and he is the most merciful. He is the creator of entire creation. Everyone should develop brotherhood feelings about others. Loving the people who are in distress is equal to worshipping God. One should serve others without expecting anything from them. Serving the people is equal to worshipping of God. If one repents for his mistake, God will forgive. Love your enemy. Do good to people who try to harm you. These are the teachings of Jesus Christ. Explain Advaita philosophy. Dear students, you have an optional questions for this. If you can't write this, you can choose the other one. But I give both. I give answers to both. Shankaracharya propagated the Advaita school of philosophy. According to this, Brahma is the absolute truth. The rest of the world is false. The soul is one with Brahma and life is not separate from Brahma. The world is, the world is Maya, an illusion. Brahma is the absolute truth. We should merge our Atma with the absolute truth. Brahma only. We should merge our Atma, that is soul, with the absolute truth Brahma. Only then we can attain Moksha. Mention the reasons for American War of Independence. The stand of England towards its colonies, that is colonizing attitude. The emergence of love for independence was the main reason and this love for independence was in the 13th colonies people. Seven years war, naval loss, the writings of Thomas Paine, John Adams, Samuel Adams, John Edward Koch and Benjamin Franklin had influence. Quebec Act, Townshed Taxes, Boston Tea Party Incident. All these are the reasons for American War of Independence. Mention the fundamental rights of Indians. Right to equality, right to freedom, right to freedom of religion, cultural and educational rights, right against exploitation, and the sixth one, right to constitutional remedies. What are the characteristics of a family? Family is universal. It is the basic unit for all social activities. Continuous responsibility and social accountability. Bringing up and nurturing. Teachers social behavior. It instructs the tradition. Next question. Name the types of natural vegetation of Karnataka. Evergreen forests, deciduous forests, mixed forests, grasslands and shrubs. What are the advantages of air transport? Air transport is the fastest mode of transport. 
It helps to carry people, mail and lightweight goods to distant places in the shortest time. Air transport is of great help during natural calamities, wars and other emergencies. Mention any four sources of short-term credit required by business concerns. Trade credit, bank credit or bank loan, advance from customers, short-term public deposit or installment credit. Loan from indigenous bankers. Human resources are considered very vital among the factors of production. Why? Human resources occupies greater importance in the production of goods and services than natural resources and material resources. Human resources provide the skills and workforce needed for production. The people who work in various jobs in the fields of agriculture, industry and service sectors are referred to as world workforce. Human resource conducts new research to provide better facilities to the people. Electricity, television, computers, mobile, fast moving vehicles are the contributions of human resource. Now we shall move on to three marks questions. You will have totally nine questions. For each question carries three marks, totally 27. And you have four options. Let us see them. The options will be in history, geography, economics, and business studies. Describe the contributions of Shah Jahan to art and architecture. Taj Mahal, Red Fort, Delhi, and other important buildings are his contributions. The Mughal king Shah Jahan built the Taj Mahal in the memory of his wife Mamtaz Mahal on the banks of River Yamuna at Agra in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Since he encouraged the art and architecture, this period is called Golden Period. What are the effects of Bhakti movement? You have an option for this question. After answering this, I will take you to that. Reformation of the Hindu practices and bringing about harmony between Hindu and Muslims were the main purpose of Bhakti movement. The reformers were successful in removing many weaknesses in a Hindu society. The regional languages of India flourished since the reformers wrote in these languages. This enabled development of Indian culture. This movement facilitated the evolution of Indian culture. It also made India to be identified as land of multicultures. Describe the art and architecture of Vijayanagar period. The Vijayanagar kings continued the architectural style of Chalukyas, Cholas and Hoysalas. The unique feature of their architecture was the construction of huge auditorium and marriage halls. Temples had huge towers that is Raya Gopura leaf shaped arches and platforms. In this art, more than ornamentation, the qualities of grandeur, awe and elegance were green were given importance. The most important temple constructed in this beginning of the Vijayanagar dynastic rule was Vidyashankara temple at Sringeri. The answer is continued. The most ancient temple of Vijayanagar is Virupaksha. It is at Hampi. Having a vast courtyard or hall, 
This temple has many pillars with sculptures and decorative ceilings. Vijayavetala Temple of Hampi is known for its magnificent architectural beauty. The Sapteshwara musical pillars, huge Kalyana Mantapas, and the stone chariot have enhanced the beauty of this temple. Question number 27. What were the reasons for the decline of feudalism? The disease that engulfed the group during 14th century killed over 3.5 crore people or one third of the population were pushed to death. This is called Black Death. With the recurrence of plague, periodically, the situation became more severe. This resulted in the loss of agriculture production. Income became less. The answer is continued. The demand for food grains also went down, affecting agriculture. The absence of able-bodied people made farmers strong. In order to counter the arrestation of the farmers, the feudal lords tried to impose more and more traditional duties on the farmers. This resulted in social unrest. Mention any six directive principles of state policy. To provide adequate means of livelihood to all citizens. To prevent community wealth and resources from being private property. To provide equal pay for equal work to both men and women. To provide public assistance to old, sick, weak and helpless. To implement uniform civil code throughout the country. To provide opportunities for the development of health and preschool education to all the children above six years. So, health below 6 years. Next question. Write the characteristics of tribes. Simple and self-content. Worship of nature. Loyal to the community and importance to unity. Equality and independence to women. Endogamous marriages. Unique and different mother tongue living in natural environment, etc. What are the importance of road transport? A large number of people live in rural areas in Karnataka. So, road transport occupies a very important role in linking the villages and towns. Roads can be constructed easily at low cost People and goods can be transported to every corner of the state. Development of roads determines the progress of the state's agriculture, industry, mining and commerce. Explain the iron and steel industry of Karnataka. You have an optional question for this. Karnataka occupies the pride of place by being the first state in South India to establish iron and steel factory. Sir M. Vishveshwarya's foresight enabled iron and steel industry, so which resulted in the establishment of Badravati iron and steel industry. Today it is renamed as Vishveshwarya iron and steel industry. Iron ore from Baba Badangiri was supplied from supplied to this industry. This factory was named as Mysore Iron and Steel Industries Limited. Another important iron and steel industry of Karnataka is under private sector. It is Jindal Vijayanagar Steel Limited. It is at Toranagallu in Ballari. What are the advantages of tourism? Karnataka is one of the many states in India 
which has famous tourist spots. Karnataka has many natural scenic places. For instance, Evergreen Sahyadri, the rivers, waterfalls, beautiful valleys, wild animals, sandalwood forests. The attractive coastlines, historical places, temples, grand sculptures, religious centers, place of pilgrimage, attract tourists all over the world. Answer is continued. People go to different places from their places to satisfy their curiosity for religious celebration, for peace of mind, for relaxation, to see picturesque places, seeking happiness and for improvement of health too. We can gain knowledge about the place, culture, civilization, lifestyle etc. by tourism. How can we conserve resources? Purchase less or purchase required only. Reduce excess packaging. Recycle materials like metal cans, old cell phones and plastic bottles. Purchase products made from recycled materials. Keep air and water clean. Plant new trees. Drive lesser, take public transportation, conserve energy at home. List out the measures taken by the government to eradicate poverty. Poor families are provided BPL cards, Antyode Anna Yojana scheme is being implemented, food grain, sugar, kerosene, cooking oil are distributed through fair price shops. Child development services for providing supplementary nutrition to children and pregnant women is taken up. Answer is continued. Self-employment programs, integrated rural development program, Swarna Jayanti Grama Swarajgar Yojana, Swarna Jayanti Shahari Rajgar Yojana and NRLM, National Rural Livelihoods Mission, all these are implemented. What are the advantages or benefits of maintaining accounts? Accounting records of business concern are the permanent records of transactions relating to its income and expenditure. Accounting records provide full information about business. Accounting helps a business concern to compare results of the business from year to year. Accounting helps to ascertain the financial position of a business concern. Accounting helps a business concern to know the amount due to others and due to others and amount due from others. Accounts are the documentary evidence required to prove the status of business concern to government. Accounts are required even in case of legal matters. Accounting records and reports help the management of a concern in its future planning and decision making process. What are the important elements of decision making? Establishing goals, defining tasks, searching for alternatives, developing plans, rational thinking and reasoning, situation and evaluation. Dear students, now we have four more questions. Akbar was a good administrator. Justify. Dear students, all these points you need to underline in your notebook or textbook and refer well. Answer is continued. You need to write both administrative, military and revenue system. All these points you need to underline in the textbook and write in your notebook.
This is four more question. Minimum eight to ten points you need to write. Next question. Explain the development of literature in the period of Renaissance. These are the points which will help you to score well. Underline these points in your textbook. Petrarch and other uh, Boccaccio writers and their writings, their influence to be written. What are the effects of Renaissance? So in textbook, nearly five points are given. You need to mention and one or two explain in your own words. What are the functions of President of India? Dear students, you need to write legislative function, financial fun functions, military functions, executive functions, etc. And at least one point for each. One or two points if you write, you will get four out of four. Legislative function, finance function, military, emergency functions to be written. All these points are clearly given in the textbook. Make use of it. What are the geographical requirements to cultivate coffee and cotton? You can also concentrate on paddy, wheat, jowar, sugarcane too. All these points are important one. Last map of Karnataka. Draw map of Karnataka and locate the following. River Kaveri, Belakeri, Bida, Anshi National Park. So it is located here. A. Yeah, River Kaveri. You can see A yeah, down as very thin blue line is there. That is Kaveri. B. Belakeri in the western coast of Karnataka. C. Bidar at the top north. D. Anishi National Park in Uttar Kannada. Dear students, I wish you all the best. Make use of this. On this model, you can prepare for other questions too. All the best. Thank you.